evidence that might be used to frame Meghan's secret as she was being taken to inexpensive seats at the Bob Marley movie premiere in Jamaica. Meghan Markle's purse was exposed, and a recording device slipped off of her purse. She was not impressed by the manner in which she was being treated. Regarding Meghan Markle's attendance at the Bob Marley movie premiere in Jamaica, the title has been making the rounds on social media, which has sparked both intrigue and criticism. To shed light on the reality behind Meghan Markle's purse mishap, we go deep into the occurrence in this video, reviewing the supposed proof, and putting light on the truth behind the incident. However, before we continue, kindly subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell for any updates. The Bob Marley movie premiere in Jamaica was eagerly anticipated by fans and celebrities alike. The event brought together an array of high-profile attendees including Meghan Markle who attended the premiere with her husband Prince Harry. As the couple arrived at the venue all eyes were on them with media outlets to capture every moment of their presence. The incident with the handbag in the midst of the flash and splendor of the evening involving Meghan Markle's purse unfolded according to reports. While Meghan was being taken to her seat a little recording device fell out of her purse leading to speculation that she was attempting to covertly record the movie or participate in some form of clandestine activity. The claims that have been made that Meghan Markle was attempting to frame someone through the use of secret recordings is a serious accusation, yet, following deeper scrutiny, it becomes apparent that this episode may have been exaggerated to an excessive degree. The so-called recording device was in fact a small personal voice recorder commonly used by individuals to make notes or capture personal memos, additionally no evidence has surfaced linking the incident to any malicious intent on understanding Meghan Markle's reaction. One aspect that has garnered attention is Meghan Markle's seemingly unimpressed demeanor during the incident. Some have interpreted her reaction as evidence of guilt assuming that her lack of surprise indicated prior knowledge of the device, however it is important to consider the context. As a public figure, Meghan Markle is not unfamiliar with the scrutiny and intrusion of paparazzi. It is possible that her cautious attitude is merely the product of her desire to maintain cool in the face of yet another intrusive occurrence. The role that speculation and conspiracy theories play in today's hyperconnected world conjecture and conspiracy theories frequently develop before facts have a chance to surface, and recent episode involving the theft of Meghan Markle's pocketbook is not an exception to this rule. As a result of the flood of speculations that have been posted on social media platforms, which range from allegations of ESPN to attempts to frame the Duchess of Sussex, it is essential to treat such claims with skepticism and require actual evidence before leaping to conclusions. The significance of context in order to have a complete understanding of the event is of the utmost importance. Because of the extreme public attention that has been directed towards Meghan Markle ever since she tied the knot with Prince Harry, her every action is scrutinized, and even the smallest of mistakes might be exaggerated to an inappropriate degree. Within the sphere of celebrity culture, this incident that occurred at the premiere of the Bob Marley movie is yet another illustration of how rumors and misunderstandings can rapidly become sensational headlines. Even the most insignificant of occurrences have the potential to become a matter of rumor and scandal. The purported incident involving Meghan Markle's purse and a recording device that occurred at the Bob Marley movie premiere in Jamaica is a testament to this phenomena. However, initial speculation may have suggested that there were other agendas at play. One closer look reveals that there is a lack of substantial evidence to support such claims. As responsible consumers of media, it is essential to approach sensational headlines with caution and seek the truth behind the stories that capture our attention. The only way we can differentiate between the truth and sensationalized fiction is by providing careful consideration and checking the facts.